Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In the last lesson, I briefly showed you how you can start with a theme and then make customizations to it to create your own custom theme. Now we're going to do this again so we can practice. We're going to take a look at it in a bit more detail because we can completely define the colors, the fonts and the effects that we're using in a custom theme. Now, if you remember, currently we have the Deb's coffee theme applied and that's OK. We can start with any theme in order to create a new one. So I'm going to stick with this one, but I'm going to completely customize it. So I'm going to first go over to colors and instead of using one of these palettes, I want to be very specific about the colors. Maybe I have to match my company colors or maybe branding guidelines. Well, for this, we can jump into customize colors and we can choose exactly the colors that we want to use. Now, the first four here relate to basically the background of your document. And in general, I tend to leave these as they are. But these accent colors we can completely change. So let's click the drop down. I can choose from my theme colors. I can choose from my standard colors or I can go to more colors and really define how I want this to look. Now I'm going to use the standard palette and I'm going to just choose some random colors from here. Let's go for this nice red for accent one. Accent two, let's go for an orange color. I'm going to leave accent three as it is and maybe also accent four. Accent five, I think I'm going to go for this greeny color from my theme colors and I'm going to leave accent six as it is. How do I want hyperlinks to show up in my document? Well, let's go for something a bit dark. I'm going to go for this aqua color. And how do I want followed hyperlinks to look? Well, let's go for a slightly lighter blue color. So I've really got quite granular about the theme colors that I'm using. Notice once we've done this, we've effectively created a custom theme and we need to give it a name. So I'm going to say new Debs theme and click on save. I can then customize my fonts. So let's click the drop down and Again, if I don't like any of the choices in here, I can go to customize fonts and choose exactly the type of font I want to use for the heading and also the body. So I want to use, I'm going to go for my favorite font, which is Lato Black and Lato. So let's scroll down to the L section. I want my heading font to be Lato Black and I want my body font to simply be Lato. We can see what that's going to look like. And again, we need to name a new font. So I'm just going to call this Lato font and click on save. Notice how that immediately changes the font that I'm using in the document. And if we take a look up at our document formatting, our style sets, it's also modified all of these to reflect the changes that I've made. So now I can save my new colors and my new fonts as a new theme. So let's click on the themes drop down and say save current theme. I'm going to call this Deb's Lato theme and click on save. And once again, this theme will appear in this custom group ready for me to apply to all new documents that I create. Now, if I press control N, and if I start to type some text, so hello world, notice that it defaults to the standard office theme. And we can confirm that if we go up to design and click the themes drop down, you can see that the office theme is highlighted because that's the default for all new documents. But what about if I want to make my new theme that I created the default when I create a brand new document? Well, that's really straightforward to do. Let's control W to close this down and we don't need to save. Take a look over in the document formatting group. We have a set as default. So if I set my theme as a default, you can see it says set the current style set and theme, including fonts, colors, effects and paragraph spacing as your default. These settings will be applied to all new blank documents. So I'm going to say yes 
And now if we do control N to create a new document and start typing, you can see that my font is that Latto font. We can confirm that by glancing up to the font group and seeing that yes, for our body text, we have Latto font applied. If I want to change the color of this font and I click the font color drop down, it's using the colors in my custom theme. So that's just a little bit more detail about creating your own custom themes from scratch and getting them to match branding or house style colors. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.